Another uh, example of um, electrophilic addition reactions to alkenes is the addition of X2 and H2O. We can actually show the reaction by the following general scheme. This is the general structure of alkenes and we can add X2, a halogen, X2, in the presence of water, H2O. Oh. So alkene reacts with uh, a halogen in the presence of, of water. The product that is obtained in this case is this one where uh, an X bonds to carbon 1 and OH bonds to carbon 2. This is viewed, by the way, as addition of X and OH. It's like addition of H, X and OH. So X bonds to one carbon and OH bonds to carbon carbon. Specifically, in this case, X bonds to carbon 1 and OH bonds to carbon 2. X bonds to the uh, carbon with more hydrogens or less alkyl substituents and OH bonds to the carbon with less hydrogens or more alkyl substituents and this is Markov Nikolov's rule. So therefore in the addition of X2, H2O to alkenes, Markov Nikolov's rule applies. So here again, yeah, this is the uh, important note, the addition the Markov Nikolov's Um, rule applies. Remember, this is viewed as addition of H and uh, sorry, addition of X and OH. So this is viewed as addition of X and OH. X bonds to bonds to carbon one uh, or the carbon that has more hydrogens or less alkyl substituents, and o, uh, uh, OH bonds to carbon two which has less hydrogens or more alkyl substituents. Yeah. So again, Markov Nikolov's rule applies. In other words, you get a more substituted alcohol in a way. Let's now take examples. If we take chlorine, and then we add chlorine H2O. If Markov Nikolov's rule applies, then Cl will bond to carbon 1 and OH will bond to carbon 2, and this product will then be obtained. So, this is the correct product or the reju isomer that's obtained. So, we can actually also do this one uh, right here again. Yeah, okay, this is the only reju isomer um, obtained. And this region isomer, by the way, uh, just to to, uh, uh, to give an additional additional note, this is these kinds of compounds are called halo hydrons. This is a halo hydron. Basically, a halo hydron is a compound that has X and OH. So this is the uh, that's the halo hydron. This is the chloro hydron in this in this case specifically, by the way. This is chloro. Hydrogen. Here, sometimes it's the reaction is described as halo-hydrogen formation. Yeah. Okay. Now we can take um, uh, additional examples like this one. Now, so we can add bromine H2O to this alkene, and the product that is obtained is the Markovnikov's product. So we are will bond to the carbon with more hydrogens or less alkyl substituents and OH from water will go to carbon with uh, less hydrogens or more alkyl substituents following Markov Nikolov's rule. You see, in this brom um, bromohydrin, okay, let's, let's also uh, write the, the, uh, uh, the name of this compound in general, yeah. Okay, this is bromohydrin, this is chlorohydrin, the general term is halohydrin. 
this bromohydro formation in, uh, is done using bromine. Bromine, as known, is toxic. Bromine is toxic, so it should be handled and manipulated in the lab very carefully. And, so, and it's also, it's not generally, um, it's not safe to, to, deal with, to deal with unless the solutions are, are diluted. But again, even if the solutions are diluted, care has to be exercised. So we, have to, we have to be very, very careful in dealing with, with bromine. So bromine is toxic. It requires special handling procedures. For that reason, chemists then develop another reagent that's easier to deal with or manipulate. And that reagent is called NBS and bromo succinamide. It's a bromine source, an alternative bromine source to bromine, basically to avoid the use of the, uh, uh, the uh, toxic uh, reagent and to make the the, this halo formation uh, reaction uh, easier to deal with. So this reaction, therefore, of the same compound, the same alkene, can be reacted with now, instead of bromine, with now NBS water, NBS. NBS is N-bromo-succinamide. Okay, this is NBS. We're going to draw the, the structure here of NBS. This is MBS and bromo to indicate that the bromo group is on nitrogen six centimeter. So the abbreviation, the origin of the abbreviation is NBS. MBS is the um, reagent. Okay, this is a bromine source. It's an alternative bromine source to to the uh, bromine molecule, it's this is uh, much less. Uh, it's actually not much less toxic. It's much much easier to deal with, and that's why this this uh, the use of N-bromosexinamide can be described as green in general. So it's a green alternative to the use of bromine, which is uh, which is toxic. Toxic. The same product is obtained. Yeah. So the reaction uh, uh, leads to the same product. It's only the conditions, if you like, all the reagents are different. The conditions here are environmentally denied or better or green simply. Okay, bromine is toxic. You don't want to handle or deal with toxic reagents in the lab. You want the chemistry to be done uh, as safe as possible and as easy as, as possible, and of course, maintaining the uh, highest efficiency possible. So the conclusion is halo hydroformation in this, in this um, case is possible if the alkene reacts with the halogen and water. X will bond to carbon one, and OH will bond to carbon two, or X will bond to carbon with more hydrogens, uh, or less alkyl substituents, OH will bond to carbon with less hydrogens or more alkyl substituents following Markovnikov soon. In a green um, uh, alternative to the use of bromine, MBS was developed by scientists.